What's up everybody, Zach is back with another episode of Journey to a Million Dollars and today I wanted to start a new series. Actually, I'm going to be starting a new series here. It's going to be a short series and who knows how it's going to go. It could be good, we could make a lot of money, maybe we're going to lose money, which is probable. Like always, do does people really even make money from trading anyways? Or is this just a lost cause? No, I'm just kidding, but hey, you know, I have obviously come across this really cool trading software, TrendSpider. Uh, link in the description for 10, 25% off. Actually, they're doing 45% off up until June 1st, which is literally today. <laughs> Probably by the time you're watching this video, they are not doing the 45% off Memorial Day sale, but it is what it is. Get it while you can. Uh, test it out, they got the seven day free trial. So this is going to be uh, not a review on Transpider, although I have done one. Go ahead and go to my channel and check that out. But actually, this is going to be a a, a Bitcoin trading um, series. And what we're going to do is we're going to use Transpider and their automated um, technical analysis software, I guess you could say, no matter their trend lines or whatever. We're going to use this. We're going to set alerts, so it's going to tell us when we should buy and I guess you could say sell. We're going to strategy test. We're going to back test a lot of data on the Bitcoin. Years and years of data, actually. And I'm going to show you all of that. And we're going to create a strategy uh, that is back tested and comes out a winning percentage, pretty much. And we're going to see if we can make some money from that. And we are going to be putting our money where our, uh, our, money where our mouth is. <laughs> and we're going to be using some leverage because that's going to make it much more interesting. Um, but you'll probably see why. Let me go ahead and share this screen with you real quick. And it is being shared right now. So pretty much here is Trend Spider. Um, it's really cool. I mean, I'm having fun with it. We're going to see how cool it is, though. Uh, see if it can work this out. But anyways, I've got an alert set here um, so far. But this is just I'm testing it out so far. And I'll show you what I mean. So go ahead and click on this and change this to the hour chart because I'm going to be trading this off of the hour chart and I'm about to show you why. So Bitcoin is actually going down right now. It was swaying up pretty pretty high. I mean, I say pretty high. It's like 37.8 and uh, fell back down today. But nevertheless, it's actually getting closer to setting off our alert. So basically what... I have tested and I spent a while testing a lot of different things, a lot of different strategies on different um, time frame, candle charts, uh, and different indicators and just, ah oh man, I put a lot of time into this actually. Well, at least a decent a little bit. I cannot say I've spent my um, entire time writing this thesis of how we're going to be doing this, but I've put a decent amount of time into it. So what I've come up with is the LSO indicator which is the lane stochastic oscillator which you can find right here uh, it is i guess it's this yellowish orangish color and it has the red green and blue lines so basically what that is is we want the blue line to be less than 20 and we want the blue line only if it's less than 20 the blue to cross the red and the green so to form a bull cross on the lane stochastic oscillator that is the strategy <laughs> i don't know if it's a good strategy but you can go up and push this handy button the strategy tester so basically i've go ahead I've, well, i went ahead and pre-programmed this and you can program a lot uh multi-step uh multi-factor and can test a lot so basically I'm, i tested this over seven thousand candles and these are our candles keep in mind hey, what's this Okay, anyways, and 7,000 candles, <laughs> and basically if the blue line, well, here's the data right here. So it's basically if the blue line crossed up between the green line and the blue line crossed up between the red line, and then this is all on the one hour, keep in mind, and then the blue line has to be a constant value less than 18, actually, which I said 20 before, so let me go ahead and change that back to 20. So basically if you're saying, 20 and then it's low on the oscillator so it's going to be a low point so basically we're looking for the bull cross we're looking for a good buying point 
where it's way oversold. And we want it to turn the momentum and start bouncing up. I mean, that's the idea, at least. And um, nevertheless, we tested this. Now, the, that's when we're going to buy. And we're going to buy on the hour candle. And if that happens, all of that data, if it forms the bull cross, we're going to buy on the next hour candle at the open. That's what we're going off of. So once that candle happens, crosses up, forms the bull cross on the LSO, the next candle... Wait for it to confirm, make sure it doesn't draw back down or anything like that. <clears throat> and then the next candle, so it'll be the next hour, we're going to open a position. And that's the We're going to buy. Um, now, what are we going to buy? We're probably, I'm going to put the, I'm probably going to put some money up on Binance or maybe even Prime XBT. Uh, Prime XBT's got some insane leverage, but I might try Binance first or even Huobi, I don't know, we'll see. And basically, we're going to do like a 10x, I'm thinking, 5, 10x, uh, 3, 5, 10x, something like that. Some margin. We're, we're, going, to do some, we're going to use some leverage. Uh, but anyways, we're going to buy on our margin account. And when this triggers, and when it triggers, we're actually going to get an email, a text message. We're going to get alerted. And for your information, I have set up the notifications in the Discord. Go to the Discord link in the description, I think, or PM me, uh, DM me. I'll give you the link if it's expired. And uh, I will be setting this up so it automatically uh, notifies the VIP section of the Discord so all of you guys will know when all of this stuff is going off. And actually, I think it should notify every single one of my um, alerts that I've set, which is what I will be going forward using for options, trading, swing trading or anything, I feel like. Depends on the stock, obviously, right? But nevertheless, moving on. So that's how we're going to get into the position and then getting out of the position. Look, this might sound weird to you. There's going to be either or uh, exit. We're going to take a profit if the position is up 5% or if one or the other or if uh, three candles have passed. Now, you might be saying, you might be thinking to yourself, why three candles? And the answer is, I don't know. I tested a lot of data and that just... <laughs> That's that's just what works. See for yourself. So let's go ahead and push test here. Stop wasting time. I'll show you. Uh, so this is remember this is uh, less than a twenty on the um, LSO. Um, wait for the blue to cross the red and green. So that's the bull cross. It will form. Should have momentum. It should be. It's a momentum swing, and we're going to get out after three candles. Uh, because if you look here. This is the uh, price behavior explorer. So this is entry right here. It's obviously 0%. One candle It's a little bit dipped down. Like zero point, uh, th and this is the average over 7,000 candles, which keep in mind, that's 10 months. Uh, so it dips down a little bit here. The second candle is up. And the third candle is almost 1% up. Um, and the average winners is going to be 76% winning, uh, 31 winning positions and 10 losing positions. So if you've got... 31 winning positions, this is pretty, pretty, I mean, 70, 76%, this is pretty good. I mean, this is what you're going for is more than 70%, uh, ideally, here. But uh, anyways, so the average return is going to be 0.92%, uh, and that's what the candle was up here. But the average gain we're going to get is 1.62%, and of course, the average loss is 1.24, so it's not so bad. Because remember, we're going to exit no matter what. We're exiting after three candles, so basically it's three hours. Uh, we're just going to sell it no matter what. And nevertheless, so I, I, I went ahead and, test, and tested a lot of that. But I'll, I'll change the exit after three candles, exit after ten candles. I'll show you here what kind of information we can get from this. But you can see after the third candle is actually was fine and then it started dipping. So for some reason it's just kind of like that. Um, that's just... That's just how it was. I mean, it's a momentum. I mean, it's it's so low because remember, this is at only below twenty. It's not like if it's like a thirty LSO or forty two LSO and it makes the bull cross. This is really low. This is probably it's going to be something like a huge dip, just way overacting, way oversold, and it's going to catch some momentum going up, but not until the confirmation candle. So we are not going to buy until the next candle. So that should therefore give us some type of, I guess, confirmation, you could say. 
But of course, you can change that. You don't have to do the open candle. You can switch this to high, low, close, uh, high, low divided by two, open, close divided by two, get an average or something like that. It doesn't matter. Uh, you can test all of this data. It's juicy. Now, what's actually working a little bit better, keep in mind this is 64% winners right here uh, because it's exit after 10 candles. We're not going to do that. We're going to do it three candles. And we're actually going to, yeah, let's run this one more time just so you guys don't forget. Uh, just to refresh your memory, it was a 70% win rate, 76% win rate, uh, average gain of 1.62%. Um, the max drawdown here is going to be negative 5.69%. It's not too bad. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. But of course, that's going to be much bigger. The gains and the losses are going to be much bigger since we're using this with leverage because it's not very interesting. I'm just going to put a thousand dollars up, something like that. I don't know. I might do more. Comment section. Let me know how much I should have put up for this experiment. Uh, but it's going to be fun no matter what. So we go back to three, and then actually 76% win rate. Try to remember this. 0.92%. Now, actually, I found it's better if we do 18. Now, this is going to be less. It's 31 and 10 here. So that's over 10 months. I mean, it's, we're not getting a confirmation every single hour here. We're, it's going to take some patience before we enter into, into this, but this has an 81% win rate, and it's a 21 out of uh, 5. Uh, I mean, 21 wins and 5 losses. Uh, so totally 26 positions here. And I mean, 81% win rate. Pretty, it looks pretty interesting. It looks pretty interesting. And the thing is, it's not going to trigger so often. So you could do the, uh, what's it called? You could do the 18, you could do the 20. It depends on how much you want to get into this. You know, I'm a patient person. I'm very patient, so it doesn't really matter for me. Now, of course, we could do one hour, we could do a day, we could do 90 minutes, even 65 minutes, which is really weird. 30 minutes, whatever. But I'm going to stick to one hour, obviously. And I want to click this button, see on chart, so we can visualize this. Um, now let's exit all this, make our chart a little bit bigger here. So actually it's going to show us when down here, when the LSO is going to cross. So right here, if, uh, this is when we would have entered. It says entry long. And this was at 36,000 even almost. And if you come down here, the LSO, you can see the blue line actually did cross above the red and the green. So that would have been an entry. So we would have, we would have done it. We would have bought it. And then we exit three candles later. So you count one, two, three. Then up here you exit. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. I assume you can see that. Is it plus 1.71% profit? And then you see after the third candle, the fourth candle, the fifth candle, then it started going down again. I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, obviously I know why. It's because uh, this is a momentum play. The LSO is going to show bigger types of swings. Once it's if it's below the 20, uh, or even though I'm doing 18, I'm doing below 18, so it's even more. Over, uh, oversold or overbought. And it's interesting because we could do like over, we could do the opposite. We could inverse this. We could do a short only if it's over, um, what would that be? A 82. If it's over 82, and we would only short it if it's a bear cross instead of a bull cross. I didn't test that data yet, but we're going to test that data. We're going to do this one first. I mean, okay, let's go ahead and taste that data. I, I'm really curious. And hopefully you guys are interested in this. Smash that like button if you are interested in this type of thing. Um, let me exit out of this. And this will probably give you a guys a chance to see what's going on here. Uh, so basically what you do is you would add a parameter. I want to do a condition. Do the indicator. Let's say LSO blue line is going to be... Let's see, cross down, indicator, red line on the LSO. And then we do the other one, and then this is all of the following, by the way. Condition, indicator, LSO. You see how easy this is? It's crazy easy. Cross down, indicator. This was the green line, I think. Yep. Okay. So that's our bear cross, essentially. And then we're going to add another condition here, and it has to be the indicator, the blue, has to be be greater than or equal to constant value of 82 let's do 80 first let's just see and that's pretty much it and then we're going to do the same exit we're going to do five percent or three candles who knows i'm going to have to play with this uh one hour chart seven thousand candles let's test it oh this is going to be a short by the way
I did long only, but that's not obviously not going to work. 51% winners. Yeah, let's do short. Short. Let me make sure. 49. Yeah, so it's just opposite. Hmm. So that's not a very good strategy. 7,001. Let me sure, make, make sure I'm doing this right. But see, that kind of makes sense because um, over the past 10 months, Bitcoin has gone up a lot. <laughs> So, if you want to, if you flip a coin, do you think Bitcoin is going to end the day up or end the day down? Well, your, the probability is up, I guess you could say, because it you know, over the past ten months. So it kind of makes sense. That's why. Do you really want to short Bitcoin by a put or short? Do you really want to do that? You know what I mean. So that's why I didn't test this. But I mean, of course, we can always we can always change this type of stuff. We could do eighty five. Uh, short only is open, yep. Not much better. Let's do... Let's exit after 10 candles just to get some more data here, see what's better. Uh, but anyways, this is something you got to play around with. Three candles, it's okay. We could try eight candles, nine candles. We could try nine candles. I mean, 10 candles is 42%. It's not not going to be good so yeah this is not a really good strategy nope so i don't like it but you know what i do like though i, I saved this by the way the lso cross up right here select template and there we go and it's 20 i think i did the 18 one it's pretty interesting now keep in mind this is going to be long make sure this is right long only one hour 10 candles we want to go back to three apologies about that so okay so that's what we're looking at that is what we're looking at and then the thing is we can go down here on the trend spider click on alert me when this happens yep we're gonna do that it's gonna go btc um lso bull cross and this is going to be the 18 one so my note here is what am I going to do when this happens? I'm going to go to <laughs> long BTC with the margin. That's what I want to do. This is going to be fun. And I just want to do this for forever. So do the expires 30 days is maximum once or once when triggered. No, just do the maximum because I want to keep doing this over and over. Extended hours. Bitcoin doesn't have extended hours. So that's pretty much. And then I create alert and then you see it just popped up right here. BTC LSO bull cross, so I can keep that in mind. And if I ever exit out, if I want to go look at Dogecoin really quick, and then I'm like, oh, well, what was my Bitcoin alert thing again? And I can come back over here and just click right here, and then brings up the exact chart, the exact TA, the exact trends, everything that I was just looking at. Eh, Bitcoin's up since we've been doing this video. Well, how about that? Uh, that is interesting, actually, because if you look at this LSO, we just had... The LSO crossed the blue and the red line, but the it crossed up here, it crossed at 27, so it wouldn't have triggered it. Unless it's down here, it started at 10, though, but it shot up real quick. So, I don't know, it's not perfect, though, you know what I mean? It's not a perfect. Maybe I should do the blue t crosses the, the LSO forms the bull cross, but the stochastic, or maybe the RSI, is less than 18 or 20. You can do that. I mean, that could be interesting because then that would have actually triggered this because the stochastic is, well, it's not even less than 20 anyways. Over here it is. Yeah, it would have triggered here and it would have been a good call. One, two, three candles. It's kind of interesting. Let's test it really quick. That's the thing. This is really easy to test. So it's not LSO is less than 20. I want to do the indicator of the stochastic is going to be less or equal to constant value of 20. Interesting. Exit after three candles. Three candles is our error back testing with this set of parameters. Okay, what's wrong here? Oh, long only? Oh, I could have done short. Maybe that's why the other one was wrong. 
Anyways, I'm going to play around with this. The stochastic. Let me exit out of this one. Plus two condition indicator. Stochastic. Is going to be less or equal to constant value 20. Is that going to work? No, it's giving me an error. I'm going to have to figure this one out. Uh, the thing is, I can always make a different one here. I can add a script. But anyways, I'm going to figure it out. There's so many things that you can do and um, see how it goes. But as far as now, I'm going to use my uh, the first one that got about 81% or something like that. 81% over 10 months of data, which is pretty good. Of course, it's been a, a bull run that Bitcoin has been on, although we're experiencing some price action, <laughs> you could say, as of late. So we'll see how it goes. Again, I have the alert for this one that we're talking about right now set, and it's supposed to alert the Discord in the VIP section, so make sure you join the Discord uh, that is important if you want to keep up with this and you will see me live trading. So every time this bot uh, makes a trade, then I will be making a video about it. So it could be interesting. But anyways, guys, link in the descriptions. Uh, if you want to try out TrendSpider, use the link. You're going to get 25% off and it's going to be awesome. You can do the exact same alerts that I'm doing. You can trade with me. Not to mention this just one button click makes it super, super, super easy to uh, do your technical analysis and save a lot of time. Anyways, guys, I'll see you on the other side. Peace.